At a time when the optimal utilization of resources is becoming ever more important, the conditioned monitoring of electrical equipment is also becoming increasingly essential. The Dissolved Gas Analysis DGA, an internationally accepted method for the condition assessment of transformers, plays a key role in this respect. By continuously monitoring the key gases in a transformer, incipient faults can be detected at an early stage and suitable maintenance measures can be initiated. This ability to plan maintenance measures may provide the key to cutting costs and increasing the overall system reliability. In free-breathing transformers, degassing or gas dissolving can occur over time, which may influence the interpretation basis of the DGA. The reason for this is that molecules always strive for equal distribution in a chemical physical system. Various theories, which are based on the determination of physical and chemical material properties, can be used to describe these processes. In recent years proof has been provided that knowing the history of a transformer and detecting incipient faults from an early stage is a great advantage. Through continuous monitoring, the condition of a transformer can be determined more accurately and maintenance measures can be more effectively planned. DGA monitoring on power transformer, dissolved gas is a leading indicator of the health of a transformer. Dissolved gas analysis DGA helps determine the types of abnormal events that may be occurring within the main tank. It is an effective way to analyze partial discharge, arcing, excessive thermal conditions and more. DGA testing is performed on an annual basis to determine the levels of gas, gas dissolved in the oil. However, one in three transformer failures occur within 12 months of testing, sometimes due to gases going undetected between testing cycles. Online DGA monitoring provides a continuous look at the gases in the main tank. Key gas monitoring Key gas monitoring is a cost-effective solution that allows monitoring to be implemented more widely across the entire fleet. It's an effective method that detects hydrogen generation levels inside a transformer's main tank. Hydrogen generation occurs when thermal levels are above a transformer's normal operating temperature. Monitoring for key gas provides an early indication of most abnormal operating conditions that may occur in the main tank. A major failure on a transformer is defined as an incident that takes the transformer out of service for seven or more days. To determine the risk of unexpected failure, it's important to consider the consequences and the probability of failure occurring. About one out of every 200 transformers fails each year according to the Seiger Transformer Reliability Survey. According to another study, major failures cost about $14,000 per MVA in property damage. It is safe to say that unexpected failure can be costly. There are a lot of helpful resources to better understand what can fail on a transformer. It is important to evaluate the technical condition of the unit and, and the importance to the network, aka the criticality, analysis of the make and model of the unit, unit features, years in service, location, and more when determining the risk. Transformer monitoring significantly decreases the risk of unexpected failure. Transformer monitoring can assist in extending the life and performance of a transformer. Transformer optimization approach a fleet-wide whole-of-life methodology offers a broader evaluation of the transformer environment, addressing the interrelated planning, operational and risk factors that impact transformer performance in life. In doing so, it paves the way for better decision-making, greater asset security and lower total cost of ownership. Dissolved Gas Analysis DGA is a key part of this broader transformer monitoring application and is recognized as one of the most effective monitoring and diagnostic tools for asset owners. Dissolved Gas Analysis a key technology, most transformer owners rely on DGA via annual lab sampling while others utilize online DGA devices on problem assets or larger power transformers. The value of DGA is accepted as a means of periodic checks on transformer condition or post-mortem evaluation. However, what has not yet occurred is the widespread use of online DGA monitoring across an entire fleet. Thus the continual monitoring and trending of this data for the purpose of providing real-time alerts to impending issues, accurate diagnostics, and better decision-making. This is where the true value lies for DGA not in post-mortem, but in prevention and management helping to maximize asset availability and security, whilst minimizing premature aging and catastrophic failures. DGA devices vary significant, significantly in design the number of dissolved gases measured in cost, thus can be suited to a wide range of needs and budgets.
Most instruments are designed for online measurement of the main tank, though there are some that can accurately measure dissolved gases in the tap changer or provide a portable first response solution. Method sampling, online, a closed loop system eliminating contamination from the external environment and prevents loss of gases. Standardized sample volumes. Offline, extraction via a transfer tube into a sample vessel, possibility of contamination due to exposure and fill volume inconsistencies. Extraction, vacuum, extraction is achieved by placing the sample in a vacuum which is then compressed and measured by breaking the vacuum. Calculations are used to correct for incomplete extraction due to the solubility characteristic of the individual gases. Stripping, a carrier gas is used to strip the sample gases out of the fluid, commonly used in GC applications. Headspace, the headspace in a sample vessel of known volume is measured after the sample is added. Calculations are used to determine the initial concentration of the gas. Analysis, gas chromatography GC, gas is passed through a column with a carrier gas towards a detector. Detection is based on the principle that different gases will travel at different rates. Photoacoustic spectroscopy PA, gas is exposed to infrared IR energy passed through a selected filter. The absorbed IR energy is converted to sound which is then recorded via a microphone. Detection is based on the principle that different gases will absorb different filtered energies. The resulting signature profiles obtained in both methods are used to identify the specific gas, gases, and subsequent concentrations in the insulation, insulation fluid. As a diagnostic tool, multiple methods of diagnosis have been developed shown in standards such as IEEE C57.104 and IEC60599 which allow users to relate measured gas in oil concentrations to potential ongoing or developing faults. Duval's triangle is based upon the relative percentage concentrations of methane, ethylene, and acetylene plotted on a triangular coordinate system. It is a useful technique which produces a diagnosis regardless of gas concentration and has a proven low percentage of error. The six main fault zones are represented along with a DT zone indicating a thermal and electrical fault. The fault zones have been determined based upon a large sample of faulty transformer cases which have subsequently been inspected visually. This is a useful technique but is limited to detecting fault conditions when they have already formed, allowing a progression of an issue to be followed. Rogers ratio was developed from Halstead's thermal equilibrium and Dorn-Enberg ratios together with information gained from failed units. It was refined to three ratios which when compared, can be used to diagnose six possible faults. Rogers ratio method has the advantage that it is quantitative and is independent of oil volume and can therefore be used as a diagnostic tool on any oil filled transformer. The key gas method uses relative percentages of fingerprint gases to identify fault conditions. These fingerprint gases are defined in IEEE C57.104 and based on those that are typical or predominant at various temperatures. Using this definition results in characteristic charts which represent relative gas concentrations relating to four general fault types. It is a frequently used technique which provides an adequate approximation of the transformer's condition. This method can however result in a high percentage error and should be used with other techniques for best results. It does allow progression of developing faults to be highlighted and monitored. Advantages and disadvantages of key gas monitoring Hydrogen gas alone doesn't provide enough data to perform a diagnosis as to the type of fault which is occurring. But it is effective at providing an early indication of incipient faults, thereby reducing the chances of a transformer failing without some advance warning. This allows for better management of assets. Key gas monitoring, when used in conjunction with a good maintenance program consisting of routine DGA sampling and electrical testing, offers a dependable, cost-effective alternative to multi-gas monitoring.